Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamriel. Welcome to Guild Wars 2. It's so quiet right here in the... What is this place called again? Ah, uh, the Grove, I think, right? What's the proper name for this? I never actually learned it. Let me go ahead and check. Okay, it's the Grove. Okay, gotcha. So it is the Grove. We're currently in the Grove, in the capital. I decided it would be a proper time for us to gear up in proper level 33 to 30 armor. And we got a beautiful, beautiful set here. So we're going to be messing around with it a little bit more. I got some toughness gear here and there, some uh, power and what is it called? The damage over time stat? I completely forgot what that one is again. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what I got. I got good stuff though. That's all I got. Condition. There we go. Power and condition. Good stuff together. And it's all going to be put together nicely. We're going to see what it's like. We're going to just have fun. Try on a different weapon. We're gonna try a different combination for today. We're gonna be trying out a mason sword and a hammer. A hammer mostly for the power and a mason sword for the up close personal AOE kind of condition damage. So we're gonna be trying to, I don't know, just kind of have fun a little bit here. For now though, I think it would be a good time for us to actually do the story for the character. We haven't really done that so far and I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to actually check out some Savari story. We can probably do like three chapters in total back to back. So we're going to go ahead and start that up right now. Let's go and I believe we need to descend or ascend. We need to go somewhere through here, I think. I believe we need to descend here. Let's go and take this and descend downwards, I guess. Go wherever we need to go for this quest over here. I never really did Savari story, so this would be pretty cool. We're also going to do a quick recap on everything that we have chosen regarding a character's backstory because I don't even remember it. So it'd be a good refresher, you know, just so we know ahead of time what we're going to be dealing with. Hello there, everybody. It looks like we got another waypoint here. So our first quest is going to start right here, called for sir, or called to service. Before we do that, though, let's check out our character's storyline just so we can, just so mostly I can remember what we chose here. It's actually Arbiter. What we chose here is, we met the white stag in our dreams. We, our quote is, act with wisdom, but act. We were born during the cycle of night, and we're all about the frosty. I don't think this frosty stat is going to matter, but everything here, everything else here, is definitely going to matter. So, let's go and begin. Let's see where the story takes us. Would you like to continue a story, call for service? Yes, let's do it. Call for service, let's do it. I think it's going to have something to do with the stag that we saw in our dream. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. It's pretty neat. I like how the plan opened up like that. Oh, that guess the doors did. Let's go through here. Look for our quest giver. Hi. Oh, it's Keith. Hello, Keith. Valiant, this is Malomedes, leader of the Cycle of Night. He is a firstborn and has offered to speak with you about your dream. I would be honored, firstborn. Can you help me understand what I have seen? It depends, young one. Tell me what you have seen. I saw a glorious white stag in a forest, and I feared for its safety. When I was told a white stag had been seen in the Caledon Forest, I remembered the image from your dream. Such a thing cannot be a coincidence. In your dream, what happened to the stag? I... I don't know. I just knew that the animal was in danger, and I wanted to save it. A white stag was seen near the Verdants. Stalk it. It holds a mystery, but beware. What is in the dream is not what takes place in this world. True. What we see in the dream often sends us places we did not intend to go. Be on your guard. This looks like we're going to find the stag, actually. Find the white stag in the burden. So, Alright, we can do that. Also, I like how our character actually sounds timid. That's the image I had for him originally. A more timid Revenant, right? We are, you know, Sesh the Arbiter, but being the odd one out and being part of the Night Cycle, I think it's actually more rare for Sobar to become part of the Night Cycle rather than any other cycle. So, I, I, it kind of fits the storyline that we got going on. I like it. I actually really do enjoy it. What, we, what can we go here? Uh, find wet stacks tracks. Is it anywhere out here? It's probably not. Probably have to go on the outside somewhere and look for it. Let's see if we can find it out here. Yeah, it's gonna be in the this particular area here. So we gotta head over to the green. Uh, Brack Delves. We can probably teleport to Wardenhurst Waypoint here. There we go. And from then on, we can just go down the road and 
pile the stack tracks and see where it takes us. So I'd never really done, like I said before, I'd never done anything Sabaru related, so I am in for something new. <laughs> I wish the dialogue and the storyline missions would have been changed so they fit more to like Season 3 and Heart of Thorns kind of dialogue, where it doesn't go into a world with just like you see just two people in a background. Although it does look pretty, it just doesn't feel new or clean, right? I wish they would have updated it. That's something that you definitely do. Update the storyline so they're more immersive. And I'm going the completely wrong way, I realize. <laughs> Let's go around here. See if you can look for the stag's tracks around here. I'm gonna switch over to the uh, the hammer real quick. There you go. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. And there are the tracks. Let's see if you can follow them over here. Hello, the Warden Ranger. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. All right, let's begin. They appear to be tracks of a large hoofed animal, a stag, perhaps. Let's follow it. Okay, so find the second set of tracks. That should be. I believe it should be somewhere this way. Trying to use the main map as best as I can. Should probably use the big map, shouldn't I? I go do this here. I'll need more luminescence to relight the town's lamps. We have more events. I'm not gonna do the event. I'm gonna skip on this event for now. I'm just gonna focus on finding the second set of tracks for now. So we just gotta go over to the Verdans. All right, we can easily do that. There we go. I should really set up some sort of keys on this controller so that I can just pull up map like in just one hit instead of like mouse go over. Uh, <laughs> can't speak. Massing over and then clicking on it. Let's follow the tracks. Hello, this stag. Is this the stag we're looking for? It's not a white stag, but I guess it's similar. Let's check over here. There are more food tracks here, and they're very fresh. This looks like the right path. Follow the tracks further. Find a third set of tracks. Do we need to deal with mosquitoes? No, they're friendly. Well, neutral, I guess. Not really friendly. Let's go and go out here. Not deal with the spiders. Nope, nope. Not deal with spiders myself personally. Nah. -uh. See if we can head over this way though. And look for the third set of tracks. I hope it's not going towards the. Yep, it's going towards the spider lair. Of course, of course. It gotta be spiders. Why does the stack go to the spider lair? I have no idea. But right here in front of us is a spider lair. I hope it's not trapped there. The stack tracks are quite fresh. They lead north into nearby caves. Oh, lovely. Don't tell me the stag got caught up. Yep, the stag got caught with the spiders. Ah, <sighs> Yet again, and yet another game out there that takes my worst nightmares and puts it, incorporates, into the game. Call for service. <laughs> How do games know I'm afraid of spiders? I don't get this. This is like the second game in a row. First it was Dragon Age, right? It spawned me, if you've ever seen the livestream, it spawned me into a nightmare world. And guess what the nightmares were? Spiders! And now in this game, I see a stag in my dream, and what's being captured by? Spiders yet again. The spider play continues, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's deal with some recent thralls around here. This should be pretty easy. I'm liking this. We got some solid gear now. This is gonna be great. Let's try this out a little more. There we go, get the hammers going. So we can do some AoE, some solid AoEs. Very nice, very nice. I'm liking this. Let's keep going through here. More stags around the area. I'll switch over to the Great Hammer for now. There we go. This is easy. Look at the damage we're doing. I don't think this is going to work out as well. Nope, that didn't work out as well as I hoped it would. Burn enemies now. I think we can. Or we can just do more damage. There we go. Perfect. Do we need to deal with the poison pods? Let's try them out. This way. I'm over here. I don't know what we do with them. Wait, somebody's there? Or somebody. Oh god, hi, hi, how's it going? How's it going? Oh, it's a little Asura thing. That explodes. Exploding Asura. Oh, right. Avoid those things. Gotcha. I can do that. I can do that. There it is again. Oh. Come back. There we go. So it's gonna be easy now that I know what to do. There we go. This is gonna be so easy. Alright. Let's do this. Block attacks. AoE. And easily take him out. Nice! I'm liking this combination. Liking it a lot. Combination of uh, condition damage and power damage. It's pretty solid so far. Let's go for it. Oh god, he's gonna summon more of them, isn't he? Oh, there they are. I'll get you in a bit. I'll get you in a bit. I'm dealing with a bunch of zombies here. I'm not sure if you noticed it or not. It's well out of the way. Oh god, I think there's a Susa Bomber as well. 
little sewer guy? Nope, I think he's fine. Are we good? No, of course we're not. Of course we're not good. <laughs> now we deal with another great hammer guy. Hello there. Let's avoid his attacks. So we're gonna have power attacks. There's a brute. Let's have the hammer spinning around them. There we go. So we can do some decent damage. Let's spin around the Rosie. Spin around the Rosie. Nice. Be at ease. You're safe now. Are you wounded? I am. But I can't let that hinder me. I'm looking for a white stag. If I let it escape, the consequences will be dire. Then we have something in common. I'm also looking for the stag. Have you seen it? It was here, but it fled to the eastern woods before I could catch it. And then the undead arrived. You have done me a good turn, and you seem strong and swift. If we hunt together, we might have more luck. I'd be glad to work with you. Let's begin our hunt at once. All right, Gavin. Well, you just do you, and I'll protect you. Fight your way out of the cave. Okay, so we gotta actually exit. All right, he's following us. Gotcha. So we'll take the charge here. Deal with the undeads. One of those would just sneak around. Nope, they just stack. They just stack already. All right, push them back to the mace and sword for now. Let's do this here. Very nice. All right. Let's keep going out of here. I wonder if he can just run out of here. Would he get stuck? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Gavin is just... Poor Gavin, he's just crippled. He, we're gonna be dragging him around everywhere. Poor guy. He's gonna be dealing with a lot of crap from us. <laughs> Let's go and use a hammer here. I like the spinning hammers. They're able to cleave like everybody around us, which is really good. And they have some very nice range as well. Makes it a lot easier when it comes to battling through a bunch of enemies. Let's go and put up this. There we go. Epic range abilities from afar. Very nice, very nice. I like that. There we go. Sweet! Awesome. Let's talk to Gavin now. If we do not find it soon, the undead will, and they'll tear it apart. We must keep looking. We must. You need to rest, Gavin. You were badly wounded. We'll keep going, but not to the point of risking your life. My life means nothing compared with finding the stag. Still, you are right. I'm of little use to you like this. I shall seek healing and meet you near Kaer Verdant when my health is improved. That is the wisest course of action. The stag is a wild animal, and a creature of the dream. It will survive for a while on its own. Alright then, I'm guessing me and Gavin share the same dream. I'm not sure how common it is for Savari to do that, but... Like I said, I'm not an expert of Savari, but... This is like a perfect way for me to learn and kind of figure things out. And we even leveled up. Nice! Strength boost, armor boost, speed boost. I kind of want the armor boost. I feel like that will help us take on a lot more difficult enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Alright, next level is 35. That's next level. 10 hero points. I like this. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see if you can get out of this area for now. And continue with the quest line. I think there's a couple more things we got to do for the chapter before we complete it. And after we do all the chapter stuff, I think then we can maybe come back and do some more adventuring and check out some other areas. But for now though, I'm very, very intrigued on what, what, you know, what happens here in the story. Let's see, I should probably close this out here. Alright, so what we got here? I think we gotta go back to the grove, don't we? Do we? No, we don't. We gotta go over here. There you go. We gotta go over to the... Slaves Waypoint. Sleeves? I'm not sure. <laughs> there we are. And there's a boss right there. I kinda wanna take on the boss. A giant Risen. Sounds pretty fun. Let's do it. Take it on. Seems like it doesn't even notice us. It doesn't even, it doesn't care. It doesn't care about existence. Well, while it's doing what it's doing, we'll just go ahead and smash the bits. Easiest boss takedown ever. He didn't even notice us. He didn't even bat an eye. He was like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep on walking. Well, that's an easy target. <laughs> Alright, let's meet up with Gavin. Your care of I think I said it right. I don't know. Care Verdant. Whatever. 
Harold's and the Hunted. Let's do it. This dream mission is actually really neat. I like it. Especially this one. I don't think I've done anything regarding Silvari, so being able to do something like this is really neat. Let's go ahead and head over here. Track the white stack. Meet Gavin oh, at Caravardant. Oh, there he is. Sweet. And looks like we got a bunch of other people here. Hello there. Gavin, are you feeling better? I am, thanks to you. I have good news. The white stag has been seen in this area recently. If we hurry, we could catch up to it. That watchtower over there gives me an idea. From the top, we can get the lay of the land, and possibly a glimpse of our quarry. You have a true hunter's instincts, Valiant. That's exactly what we should do. When the stag appears, we shall give chase until it tires. Together, we will harry it. And then the beast shall be ours. I realize that our guy sounds really British. I like our character even more. He has an accent. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot, a whole lot. I think it's accidental, but it works for it. Ah, the white stag appears. Oh, there he is. Look below. You see the stag. Yep, there it is. Likely. We cannot alert the stag to our presence. We can't. Oh. Defeat the attack and risen. I guess we gotta go down here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use my... Now mind, the game take away, takes over my glider. I do not have a glider in this situation. Well, I'm just falling down to my death then. <laughs> I think it's actually on a binder stack. I thought I saw like red eyes on it. Anyway, let's see if you can deal with the risen around the area. There's a white stag over there. Yep, looks like an albino stag. She's a stag until it grows weary. Alright. Gonna chase her for a bit while dealing with the thralls. There we go. Nice. And let's keep chasing the thing. Hey, stack, how's it going? Oh, no, we're going, we're going. No, come back here. <laughs> God damn it. Let's get a risen thrall over here. Put a bunch of bad stuff around the area. There you go. All the condition damage. Perfect, perfect. That's what we need here. Very nice. Keep going after the thing. Come back here, stag. Where are you going? <clears throat> and now we're dealing with more zombies. I have no idea what's going on here. For some reason, it keeps lagging on. I have no idea what it is. I don't think it's anything on my end. I hope it's not. More zombies over here. Alright. Let's deal with them real quick. There we go. God, the power attacks with the hammer are fantastic. I think I'm slowly but surely falling in love with this weapon. Its abilities are fantastic. So far, my favorite. There we go. And smash down. God, it looks so amazing. Let's run on the hammers as well. I'm not wielding like three hammers at a time. We have this, the freaking hammer. <laughs> the freaking hammer storm around us. I love it. Any more enemies? They have a couple more thralls in the area. A play carry. Oh, God. Yeah, I've dodged that. <laughs> I had to realize what kind of enemy it is at first. Let's go and follow you. A couple more enemies over here. Another plate carrier. Oh, that's not good. Dodge out of the way. There we go. Very nice. Let's keep, keep, keep chasing over here. There you go. And smash down. Switch over to the hammer. Smash down even more. Very nice. Love it. There's a stack. Come on, stack. We're out already. I'm done chasing you by this time. <laughs> I'm kind of done already. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Let's go ahead and take these guys over here. Where's the thralls? There we go. I'm gonna stay in this healing area over here. Removes conditions. Very nice. There it is again. Come on, stack. You better stop running. I'm already with you. Just tuck her out already. Come on gonna take a while, isn't it? I'm just gonna go ahead and run with it, see if it's gonna tucker out already. Who needs enemies? Who cares about enemies? I'm just gonna run with this thing for a while. If he's attacking Risen, psh, we don't care that. We just wanna chase the stack for a little bit. At least that's what I wanna do. See if we can avoid majority of the battles. Where are you going? I'm right with you. <laughs> God damn it. Where are you going, damn stag? Let's see if we can do uh, this over here. Hammers turn on. Mess up the road so I can be more stable. Turn up the hammers for a little bit. There it is. Come on, tuck her out already. Tuck her out already, I beg of you, please. 
I'm already getting attacked. Oh, that's not good. I should probably go ahead and heal, shouldn't I? That'd be a really good idea. Let's go and taunt. There we go. If we can taunt all of them here, it's gonna make it so they all do less damage. Let's go ahead and just back up over here. Just kite them slowly but surely. Smash them with a the hammer. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, back away. Switch over to the weapons. Nice, very nice, very nice. Are you tuckered out yet? Are you done? Hopefully. Oh no, we got more zombies to deal with. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is that thing? That's a brute. Okay, that's a char. That's a char. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Switch over. Alright, I think we're good now. Victory. Are you done, Stag? Okay, thank God, finally. <laughs> Excellent work, Valiant. But now I must leave, and I will be taking the White Stag with me. You're welcome to come, of course. Your skills as a hunter would be an asset to the court. The Nightmare Court. Who are they, and what are you doing? Gavin, the Stag must go back to the Grove. Kate is waiting for us there. No, my noble friend. The White Stag is coming with me. Once we turn it to the Nightmare, the Stag will be a powerful weapon against the Dream. It is a manifestation of hope and faith. In Nightmare, it will be just the opposite. A creature of despair and hatred. Through its power, the Pale Tree will be freed of the chains forged by Ventari's tablet. A weapon? Gavin, this is wrong. The White Stag is a peaceful creature. You can't turn it into something cruel. I can. We can. Come with me. You would be celebrated, possibly even knighted by the Grand Duchess herself. No, Gavin. I'll never join the Nightmare Court. Ah, that's a pity. It grieves me greatly to turn Predator into prey, Valiant. But I cannot have you interfere. Farewell. It's a shame, a loyal friend, and now a debased death. Well, the Gavin turned out a member of the Nightmare Court. Alright, let's deal with the hounds real quick. This you guys should be pretty easy. Let's get the hammers rolling. Oh, this is nothing. This is nothing. I think I might just be over level for this area in particular. Defeat the thorn hounds. Oh, we got much more. Oh, we got an alpha hound now. Okay, hello, the alpha hound. How's it going? How are you doing today? I'm gonna go ahead and smash the hell out of you. Let's go moving back and charge forward. Very nice, very nice. Doing really good. Let's get the hammers rolling. Very good, very good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Let's taunt him. There you go. If you taunt him, he does less damage because of the build that I got going on for now. Alright, so looks like Gavin turned out to be part of the Nightmare Court. My suspicion was confirmed. I think people that are waking up during the night time are more likely to join the Nightmare Court because I think it's because it's like a factional thing and they're more considered evil. Yet we as a character, as Sesh the Arbiter, we chose to deny the Nightmare Court. I wonder if that should be... You know what would be really cool though? I know it's probably going to be, you know, pointless to talk about it because it, I doubt the developers would ever add that. But it would be so cool if, like, the Nightmare Core people could actually join the Nightmare Core and in certain parts of the story mode actually work with the Nightmare Core while still stay part of Tyria. So it'd be like almost like a double agent. Uh, that would be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that. That would be pretty sweet. Like, if you got a choice. But alas, we have to join the good guy side, the boring side. <laughs> It's not that boring, but you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and head down here. I think there's a place for us to get to the questing area. And down here. Oh yeah, we gotta go to this building right here, don't we? Nice and easy, there you go. Let's go ahead and get a waypoint. I need to go ahead and complete the city and every other city. Like, all the capital cities and unlock everything. That's what I need to do. Cannot... I guess I gotta go inside before I can even... Oh, there we go, I get the waypoint. Hounds and Hunted, yep. Enter the instance. I have to tell Keith, I guess, or whoever is inside about what happened. So that's what happened. The Nightmare Court wants to take the stack and turn it to a weapon. Gotcha. Alright. That's gonna be bad news here. 
Case, I need your help. Gavin, the hunter working with me to track the white stag, has betrayed me. I don't understand what he's done. He said something about using the stag as a weapon, and that Ventari's tablet was evil. He said he was a member of the Nightmare Court. The Nightmare Court? Thorns! You are right to come to me. They believe that Ventari's tablet has turned the tree away from the original nature of the dream. They embrace pain and darkness, and they claim that Ventari's lessons have corrupted the Sovari and the Pale Tree. Corrupted us? Can't they see that they're the ones who become poisonous? They believe their own lies. Come, Valiant. We must discover where the court is holding the White Stag. I agree. But how? News of such a prize will have spread among the courtiers like wildfire. We will go to Aaron's woodlot and spy upon the court. They often go there to recruit new courtiers, but we must be subtle, or they will flee without telling us anything. Meet me there, and we will devise a plan. Did we complete it? How to hunt to complete? Alright, so that part is completed. I think it's still part of the same chapter though. I can't really see, because my I have a little shadow play icon that turns on whenever I'm actually recording. And it's currently blocking the level, like right here. This is where we'll be. There's a little shadow play icon and it's blocking, which so you guys don't get to see it, but I'm seeing it. It's really difficult to even tell what I'm doing or what level it is. Okay, so it's still level 10 quest line. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll continue on with the next part of the mission. So, looks like they're going to try to use a stack to use Ventari to go against the Ventari's tablet. I have no idea what a Ventari's tablet is, guys. I have no clue. As far as I understand, it's something pretty important. That's that's all I can gather so far. Guess we have to find out about it later. I think Vitari's tablet maybe talks about. I think it was mentioned somewhere. Isn't it like the almost like the kind of like the Savari Bible? Almost like how you should act and how you should be, like a guidance mechanism. They kind of chose Savari what they should and shouldn't be doing, right? I think I have no idea, but I do kind of. Think about it. It's apparently, the dream that we see and the following that we get from the the grove and the great tree or whatever, and the dreams that they see, they, you know, they embrace a nightmare. What if they live in reality and we are living in our lives, right? I mean, I'm just kind of thinking about it. What if that's a spin? Like, right? what if that's a twist? Like, the the reality that they believe in, that Nightmare Core believes in, is a true reality, and we believe in. We've been brainwashed, you know. That would be kind of a cool spin. I don't know where this goes. I hope something like this happens. I doubt it, but that'd be so cool. That'd be a really cool spin to the story. Discovering darkness. Let's do this. There's Keith over there. Hey, Keith. Hi. I see you. What's up? Did we talk to you? Okay, there you go. The Nightmare Court is gathering. We must proceed with caution. I cannot approach them. They know who I am, so I'll watch from a distance. I don't understand why we allow them to gather at all if they seek to corrupt everything. On those rare occasions when they bloom in public, they vanish as soon as the Wardens arrive. If we can't approach them, how will we free the White Stag before they corrupt it? I cannot, but you can. You're a newly awakened sapling. They'll be eager to recruit you. Speak to them cautiously and earn their trust. I will. Perhaps I can persuade a recruiter to follow me back here. Then together, we can force the recruiter to tell us about Gavin and the stag. Excellent. But before you go, a warning. Do not listen to their lies. If you become corrupted, there is no cure. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I'm really hoping... Oh, Keith has disappeared, I guess. Hey, Keith. I guess we will not see you for a while then. You just keep hidden. I wonder if there's a possibility in this story particularly to like choose to believe them. That'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that. I would think that'd be actually really neat. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to Hello, what have you got here? Hello ladies, how's it going? Breasts are the treasure of the cat. I kind of want to say you could dress better. Mm. 